So for those of you uh, just joining us, I want to um, apologize everybody for the technical glitches that I was experiencing. Stevie, happy birthday, 40. Who would have thought, little dude, huh? Um, and, okay, so today I'm going to be taking callers. Uh, when I call your area code, please have a question ready or a connection. I don't, and I, I'm not going to repeat this. I, I'm not. I say it every week on my show. If you're new to my show, I'm saying it now. I don't do just give me a message because people don't like the message and then they they decline the message. Oh, I don't I I I don't have that. Well, it's a prediction for the future. So you might not know about it yet. Um, if you have a very specific question, it's easiest for the show. My call log is full. I mean full. So <clears throat> a very specific question helps me to get through more callers. And that's the idea here. I do want to take time with each and every person, but I also do want to be able to get to more people. Uh, if you feel like you need more time with me, I completely understand that. You can book a private session with me at T-O-N-I-G dot I-N-F-O tonyg.info. And I'm happy to book that session with you and answer all of your questions and help you in every way I possibly can. If you want to connect with a loved one on the other side, I just need their first name and their relationship to you. Okay, so before I get started, this is in 2022, I said I was going to do healings for every single show. So the first healing I'm going to do is self-love. I unconditionally love myself. This is for anybody listening, re-listening, watching, re-watching on any TV station. And you may feel it in this area or any other area. We're going to start clearing that now. Whew, that makes me actually a little bit dizzy. Now, I have a beautiful, beautiful friend. Hey, Patrick. Hey, Mimi. Um, Genevieve, who... Um, you know, we all go through things and we have difficulty forgiving the other people and ourselves. And in some circumstances, people would say, I, I, I just can't forgive these people. And everybody would completely understand that. So today we're going to do a clearing to be able to forgive the other per people involved, the situation itself and yourself. Okay, so I'm going to start that clearing now. Whew. And I'm going to say a lot of times we think we need to forgive the other person. But the truth of the matter is we. When we bottom line it, we blame ourselves for most situations. We think I shouldn't have been in that situation. I should have known better. I should have ended it sooner. I should have seen the signs. We all blame ourselves. And the person that we're really trying to forgive is ourselves. So these two clearings, which are right at the beginning of the show, right around the five minute mark um, on YouTube and right around the two minute mark on all the podcasts. Um, I love horrors, of course. I, I love each and every person that joins my show or watches my show. Um, I can, I'm very empathic and I can feel that energy coming in. So sometimes when I'm talking to one person, if I get another person's message, it's because somebody is very strongly sending their energy to me. I do want to say before I start, there's somebody from the other side that's coming in. Now, this is either for Bob or it's Bob. Because I keep hearing Bob, Bob, Bob. So somebody I'm assuming, well, I'm not going to assume anything, but I hear Bob. And then what's the message you need to get through? Tell him I love him. Tell him I love him. That's it. So either Bob wants me to tell somebody listening or watching that they love him or somebody named Bob that lost somebody, they love you. 
Uh, and that is the way it works for me. I, I, you know, we don't get always those full on paragraphs that people want us to get. But just know, Bob, I love you. So either way that goes, okay? Okay, and Jill, there's <laughs> Jill. Either Bob is telling Jill or Jill is telling Bob or there's another person here named Jill. Um, so I'm just going to start taking callers because this could go on <laughs> like for days seriously okay we are going to get into callers the fir very first caller is 562 562 how are you today how can i help hi. you hey hi i'm doing good thank you um my name is yvonne from california and i was wondering do you see me receiving my ssi benefits and if so which month i hear march now, I, okay, oh. so wait, not not wait. <laughs> I hear March, but that could mean that in March there's going to be another step to take. I do feel like you are going to get them. You're going to have to jump through some hoops. I feel like if you haven't jumped through hoops already, those hoops are coming in. Those hoops are going to be, there's going to be, okay, there's going to be one or two more steps you have to take, and then it's going to be approved. Make sure, please make sure you are doing everything right away. Um, don't, like if you get an, an email or a, a contact from them, immediately respond because first in time is first in line. And the longer it takes you to respond to any interaction, the, the, the further down you go in the pile. So please make sure you're okay. you're responding right away. But I do think they are going to need one 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 doctor's like either one of the doctors that uh, I hear doctor's approval, doctor's approval. So either you're going to need to have one of your doctors state something a little differently or something that you're going to have to get one more doctor visit to get this either way it's going to go through so don't worry in march you're going to get an answer that is going to be helpful and help okay. move you forward okay love okay i hope this was helpful for okay, you awesome what thank you thank you please. yes it was thank you and please thank do you. call me back and let me know uh what comes and how it comes okay Okay, I will for sure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to go directly to the next caller who is 850. 850, how are you doing today? Oh, I'm so happy you took my call. <laughs> Absolutely, my pleasure. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Uh, my name is Michelle, and I'm calling from Florida. And um, I was wanting to... I sold my house and I'm living on a houseboat trying to fulfill my dream and um, the motor broke on us. So we're at a dock. I don't, I mean, the guy has been gracious enough not charge us and he knows my daughter, but I don't know how long that's going to last. We've asked him, you know, how much money do you want? And he doesn't never give us a price or tell us anything. So I'm like, I think we probably want to find a private dock, but I'm like, when do you see us finding a private dock that we can afford? and where to look or where at or whatever you see on it. You know what I mean? Okay. So I hear a month, whatever is going to happen, it's going to happen in a month, but you need to be extremely proactive and you might need to look outside of the specific area you are in. Okay. So you might be thinking, I, I want to find a private dock in this area. You're going to have to expand that search and you're going to have to, um, be open to whatever comes your way. Um, I think you need to ask a friend of a friend. I do think this is going to be something that comes in because of, like I'm saying, a friend of a friend of a friend. 
So you're, but I do feel like your, your new dock or your docking home is going to come in in approximately a month or so, give or take a week. Uh, but you need to be very, very, very proactive. You need to look diligently. Okay. Okay. Um, and you don't know what area to look. Well, uh, you know. Or how far from here, maybe. I I just hear that it's going to be miles from there. And, you know, I know that can mean anything for anyone. I do know that you are going to have to reach out to friends and start talking to them. This isn't going to be something that's necessarily put out there. It's not posted. That's the way I want to say it. It's not posted. It's something that you're going to have to talk to people you already know and ask them. Okay. That is as right. close as I can come for you. There, and that might be because there might be. I just want to say it's possible, like right now. The way I'm, it's just so vague right now. So whatever's coming in might not be available at this very moment, but you have to start asking about it at this very moment because by the time the person hears about it, it's going to be available, okay? I hope this was helpful. I know it's okay. not everything you want, but uh, can I ask what part of Florida are you in? Because I keep hearing Sarasota and I'm really hesitant to say that because it might be someplace else, but I do keep hearing. Um, I'm in Carabelle, Florida. I'm, I'm in Carabelle, Florida. Okay. Well, I, and that, you know, just because I'm hearing Sarasota, it doesn't mean Sarasota, but I would reach out to people, you know, in Sarasota. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much for that helpful tips. Maybe that'll, my husband may know somebody in Sarasota or he does work around everywhere too. Okay. So, and here's the thing, you might not end up in Sarasota, but the person who knows the person who knows the person may be in Sarasota. So there's some sort of Sarasota oh, okay. connection. Okay, love? Okay. Well, thank you. God bless. God bless. You have an amazing rest of the day. And thank you so much for calling in. Ah, you too, honey. Thank you. Oh, you are welcome. I'm going to go directly to the next caller. 519. 519. How are you today? I'm good. My name's Jennifer. Jennifer, thank you for calling in. Where are you calling from? Hi. Canada. Excellent. How can I help you today? Go truckers. Go truck. Yes, um, I love I it. Like, oh my goodness. Go right? <laughs> <laughs> Not if we can just get the rest of the truckers to do it. Where would this, you know, those who know, know. Right. That's all I'm going to say. Those who know. I know. No. <laughs> I'd like to hear from my mother-in-law, my ex-mother-in-law. And what's her first name, love? Jean. Jean. Okay. Okay. So, so, you know what? The very first thing she wants to say, and, and she's saying it with a bit of what I would call an accent, but it's probably not an accent. It's just the area or the way, you know, even in America from Florida to New York, it's completely different um, dialects or way of speaking. So the way she's speaking is a bit of a, of an accent to me, but it's not um, for where she's from. The first thing that Jean wants to say is uh, she's singing this song and it may not be a song that she knew. It's just a song that represents her feelings. And the song is, 
I can't, oh my gosh, it's so old. It's, I'm sorry, so sorry. Um, and I, it's a, it's like this really super old country song. And I don't even know mm -hmm. the next words to those, that song. Um, I feel like if I'm getting her energy and her words correctly, correct she feels badly because at times she may have taken her son's side because she felt like when she knew when she knew she was being biased and there was there was um <clears throat> she may not have always been fair to you is the best way i can say it she may not have always been fair to you she may <clears throat> oh my gosh <clears throat> I feel like she, she, was a, she was a heavy smoker. Okay, thank you. Smoker, and she had an accent. Okay. And that is the throat and voice thing that's going on right now because uh, this happens once in a while where somebody comes in and the channeling and um, she just wants you to know she wasn't always um, fair with you in the way she handled situations and she really wants to apologize for that and she wants you to know yeah because i'm even having trouble breathing right now and i feel my body feels a little bit weak and that would be like somebody who definitely who smoked and i'm gonna just ask her to back it up a little bit because i cannot oh Holy cow, that is, well, there you go, folks, and there's that. Um, she wants you to know how <laughs> apologetic she is. And uh, clearly, <laughs> no offense, and don't do that again, but she might have been somebody who didn't always have the best boundaries based on what just happened here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. I, but we love you. We're not saying anything bad. We're yeah. just stating facts. <laughs> um, so I'm going to say she just really wants you to know that. She wants you also to know that you are moving in the right direction. Keep going. Um, and don't, don't, uh, there's, a, don't, uh, um, don't slow down. Uh, don't, don't slow down. Keep like full full force or full speed ahead is what I'm hearing for you. And I hope that makes sense Thank to you. Thank you, Tony. I appreciate it. Absolutely. My pleasure. Yeah. I'm so happy that I'm you called in today. Thought. I really am. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. I'm going to go directly to the next caller. And the next caller is 205. Uh, oopsie, I didn't click the right button there. 205, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. Hi. What's your name, love? Hi, Tony. Happy New Year. Um, my mm -hmm. name is Patricia, and I'm calling from Alabama. And um, I would like to know if um, Spirit has any um, um, a particular message for me. I, I feel like it's something I'm supposed to be doing. And I'm just not sure what it is. And so, um, could Spirit tell me, um, am I am I am I writing what I'm feeling? I or hear. I, you know what? I, I inst need to know? I instantly hear yes, and this might not line up with what you're thinking. You have to take what I'm about to say and make it fit for what you. No. Okay. So I'm okay. hearing, and this isn't, first of all, this isn't the only thing you're supposed to do, but this is probably like could be something you could either plan for the next thing. Write the book, write the book, write the book, write the book. I think, yeah, that is what they are saying. Write the book. Now, let me say something to you before you tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> um, somebody told me years and years and years and years and years and years and I mean, 
many years ago that I was going to write books and I laughed at them. And I, all I could think of is how dyslexic I am and, and, and I'm not writing books. That's not part of my, I don't want, I don't want to write books. There's, there was nothing in me that wanted to write books, but then I start all of a sudden one day just started. I had always written poems always like, but they were very private and personal. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden one day, I just put them to paper, like computer, and put them out in a book. And then, th then after that, the channeling would just come. And as a matter of fact, there's there's a whole probably two books in my phone right now of just little things. Now, when they say write the book, I want to be clear: it doesn't have to be a novel. It can be. It doesn't have to be a biography. It can be. It can be a cookbook. By the way, it can mm. be poems. It can be, uh, they're saying memoirs. It can be um, how to survive. <laughs> now they're just being goofy. How to survive a pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> and the answer to that is just live your life. <laughs> um, it can be a number. It can be anything. Um, I am going to tell you that what they are saying to me right now is there's a book inside of you. You need to get it out of you, whatever that book is for you. It can be in how to, how to, mm -hmm. whatever, you know, whatever it is. Um, I am going to tell you also, there is a business move and a business that you're supposed to be doing. And maybe the book is goes with this business and maybe the book is like the training manual or the training guide or the oh you know like how sometimes if somebody is like a coach they have a manual but it's it's for some reason i'm just mm -hmm. kidding you're gonna write this thing whatever the book is it's gonna be the book of maybe it could be even the book of your business. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. I know it seems vague to everybody listening, yes. but the person who it's for, it should resonate. And if it doesn't resonate right now, it's going to resonate by the end of the month, which is, is that tomorrow? Because they kept saying tomorrow. And I said, I'm not yes. going to say tomorrow because that's so soon. So they said by the end of the month. <laughs> Oh, they can trick me so easily. <laughs> um, so that is what I'm it getting. It does resonate to. Yes. Yeah, it resonates some, um, Tony, because I do jot, um, I do write down notes. I always okay. write, you know, these little notes down and out. And, you know, I write them on every and anything. And if you put them all together, yeah, yes. I have a couple of books. So. That, I've always done that. Um, oh, my I, gosh. I can't even think for how long. Okay. And the business aspect, I've been looking into that, um, too. Um, so, um, you are, um, yeah, you're, you're right um, about both. Thank I guess you. it's just, you know, put, um, putting it together somehow in my mind. I hear, um, you know, okay, there's, thank you, thank you so much. You're so welcome. And they're singing a song and this song is, it is what it is. It's an old, old rap song, hip hop, whatever it goes. I think, it, I think the word is jump, but it might be get. So it's like, jump on it, jump on it and on and on and on it. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah. folks. laughs> okay. Everybody who knows what that song is, knows what that song is. If I got the words wrong. Yes, I know. I cannot sing. Please don't comment about it. <laughs> I'm fully aware that is not one of my gifts. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's what they're saying. Just start. If you just sit down and you start, it will be, it will go so quickly and then you're going to be there. And I do feel like you're going to get a lot of guidance while you're doing this. Okay, love? Okay. Beautiful. Thank you. Many blessings, Tony. You Thank too. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I am so... Thank you.
You guys don't even know. I'm so grateful and so honored to be able to do this um, because I know sometimes in life we just want, you know, our angels to come through and tell us you, you just I like every night as I'm falling asleep, I just cannot thank God enough for everything. Hi, 610. Where are you calling from? What's your name? Hello, 610. Okay, let's go to the next caller because I don't really have enough time to um, to wait uh, for somebody. Uh, 312, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, good morning. Uh, my name is Brian. I'm calling from Chicago. Okay, Brian. We only have like a couple minutes left, so quickly give me your question, please. Uh, why is it difficult for my wife to communicate with me? I, I'm very sorry. Could you say that again? Why is it difficult for my wife to communicate with me? Who? Um, give me a second. You know what? Instantly, as I tap into this energy, it's very, she's afraid. Now, this might not, I'm going to say something here for everybody listening we are all surviving our childhood. We are all surviving our past. So possibly in, I'm not stating her past, but possibly in her past when she spoke up or tried to express her feelings, they were either not validated or somebody dismissed them or she just wasn't allowed to speak. You know, that old statement, children are supposed to be seen and not heard. And she might have had somebody in her past who may have had some anger issues even I'm picking up. And so now it's very difficult for her to state what she wants. And some women don't feel worthy of saying what they want or communicating appropriately to the person that they're supposed to be the closest to. The best thing you could do, um, Brian, to open up communication, get a big old notebook and write back and forth to each other like little love letters that will help you have the best possible communication. Okay, sweetie? Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. You are so welcome. I want to take the last little bit of seconds I have here and thank everybody who has called in, uh, watched live on YouTube. I will be back on or watched on TV. I will be back Wednesday at noon. I'm here every Monday and every Wednesday live at noon, taking callers, answering questions on YouTube. I love you all so very, 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 very much. Please stay blessed. Stay happy. Bye.